hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <coughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> right. No messing about, straight in, balls deep. That mess that was served, served up yesterday at the Sheffield Arena and what a mess it was. I mean, there's been some messes served up in British boxing over the years, hasn't there? And, but if you say anything, you're a hater. Porky, you're a hater, Porky, what are you doing, you can't say that, you hater, you're jealous, you're bitter, <sighs> Porky. So let's look at the facts, as I like to look at the statistics, I like to break things down and tell the truth, because when you tell the truth, Everybody gets to see what's gone on, don't we? Right? That's what we that's what we get to see. We see what's happened, you know, when we tell the truth. Now that yesterday was pfft. I mean I've I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean I've heard some at purses that people were paid and to be honest with you they put that show on yesterday, right, for peanuts. They put that show on for KP nuts. That's what they put that show on for yesterday. So what I'm going to do, we're going to start out and we're going to break things down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to break things down. Right, so here we go. The matchmaker was Paul Reddy. Uh, he's the guy behind the scenes that phones everybody. But Eddie Earn ticks everything off. He signs off on everything. He says who, he says when, he says how much. All the matchmaker is is somebody who's glorified, picks a phone up and arranges everything behind the scenes. But they are busy people. And that matchmaker out this would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He'll have had a couple of grand out of that show. For phoning about. Right, cruiserweight, Callum Beardo, 1 0 for Powell, Marty, Newick, 1 and 3. So we can't be critical of that. I didn't see that fight. I didn't see that fight. Super featherweight, Dante Dixon, 2 and 0. He for Eduardo Valverde, 2 and 2 and a draw. I didn't see that fight, so I can't give an opinion on that. My Sky started at 3 minutes past 8. and When My Sky started, David Allen were in the first round about 30 seconds in. So, third fight. So, I don't know what order these have come on in. John Doherty, super middle, 7-0 and against Pablo Mendoza, 9-3. and So, he's won that. Fourth fight, now I've been told it was Anthony Tomlinson, he was on before Dave Allen. So Anthony Tomlinson, welterweight, 11-0, beat Stuart Burt, 13-1-1. I didn't see that, so I can't comment on it. But looking at it, I think he won in ninth, from what I've been told. Yeah, ninth round against Stuart Burt. Stuart Burt, I don't even know what he looks like. He's not even got a picture on box rec. He's not even got a picture uh, neither has Pablo Mendoza who fought John Doherty and uh, neither has that Powell Martinuick who fought Callum Beardo but anyway so Anthony Tomlinson's 12 and 0 he moves on now I'd like to see him fight Conor Ben I'd like to see him tested I'd like to see him tested uh Stuart Burt's only got one win on stoppage and 
he's only beat one person with a winning record now and that person beat him seven months before so we could pick holes in it all but you can only beat who's in front of you now Anthony moves on 12 and 07 by a knockout so that's a positive isn't it I'd like to see him fight the loser of Conor Ben Johnny Garton I think that's a good fight for him that maybe they're not going to put him with Conor Ben next maybe he should fight Johnny Garton when Conor Ben ices him so that would be a good fight for him Martin Joseph Ward 23 1 and 2 beat Jesus and Paran 16 and 1 he beat him by points over 10 rounds uh, I like Martin Ward he's a big, fa big favourite of mine uh, I think he's technically brilliant uh, the first couple so you've got Beardo Callum Beardo won didn't he by points Dante Dixon won by a knockout John Doherty won by a knockout in first round they're tipping in for big things aren't they John Doherty David Allen 17 and 5 and 2 fought Dorian Darch who were knocked out in the third round he now moves to 12-12 and a draw so he's not got a winning record and he has one win by stoppage and that was eight years ago against Istvan Rosinski so Dorian Darch it is what it is now they're saying that Tom Little's next for Dave Allen now can I just point out that Dorian Darch has beaten Tom Little so he's beat Tom Little and they're talking about Tom Little next for Dave Allen what, what's all that about Dave Allen should be fighting Dubois he needs to get on the phone to Frank Warren and tell him he'll take that fight go get his son a proper trainer who's going to give him proper advice and take that fight and go get stuck into Dubois who knows maybe Dave might fight the loser of Joyce Dubois but he could have missed the boat by now on that but that's up to him in it but so we move on we move on to Kid Galahad a drug cheat who cheats in the ring not a fan of him at all uh, he stunk the place out he were all, the arena were already stinking anyway I mean it, it, I don't like I don't like it to be called the Sheffield Arena it should be called the Stinkinator Arena because it, Galahad stunk the place out wherever he goes he stinks the place out he got an awful style he doesn't sell a ticket and I'm not a fan but what he does is effective so we have to give him credit but like I said he uh, he stunk the arena I mean pff, god it was painful and awful to watch awful but what can you do uh, after that so I saw I saw the Dave Allen fight I saw the Galahad fight I saw Terry Harper 9-0 fight Eva Wallstrom now unification two world title belts online Terry Harper won the fight clearly for me but pff, it, it, the two minute rounds I don't think they're long enough uh, you've only got to throw a few feints and move around and stay out, stay out of the way and round's gone on it and I thought the, it didn't do anything, any, anything for me and it, and it just reaffirmed my opinion that women's boxing it doesn't do no for me it doesn't do nothing for me uh, nothing at all but if she can get a payday against Katie Taylor that would be brilliant but Adam Smith coming out with all that were awful uh, nobody wants to say anything because you're classed as a hater but the fight for me was awful awful it was really awful it was an awful fight but I thought she won it I thought Terry Harper won it and good luck to her she seems a nice kid doesn't she but the fight was awful but nobody dare say anything dare they because you're classed as a hater but pff, god if, 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 
that were awful that fight and that girl to say she had a WBC belt I mean what's all what were all that about there were no urgency about her no urgent no urgency about her whatsoever but then again there ain't gonna be she's 41 year old next year isn't she I mean what is she 30 she's 40 in a, 40 this year I mean what what's all that about but she lost her belt so unlucky You've lost a belt to somebody from Donnie, so that's a good thing, isn't it? But, oh, the fight, oh, oh my God, awful fight. Let me move on, let me move on to, let me move on to main fight of the night. Kelbrook, the babby, Eddie, I want Beefy Smith, Eddie. Don't want to fight Queen Amir Khan, I want Beefy, I want Beefy Smith, Eddie, get me Beefy. Beefy Smith in ring with his hot chick. Sorry, in the arena with his hot chick. He's looking to get a pay-per-view payday. So the scripts were being written. The scripts were being written a few weeks ago when Darren Barker were telling people, weren't they really? But I don't know. I mean, Beefy Smith against Kel Brook, is that pay-per-view? No, I don't think it is. Will they do it as pay-per-view? Probably. You know, they've got no shame, have they, these people? I mean, what what could we call that fight? Uh, what could we call it now? Return of the Babby. Now, I couldn't call it that. Or Beefy Babby. Beefy versus Babby. Now, I couldn't call it that. We could call it... Uh, the... Weapons of matchroom destruction, that's what we could call it, or we could call it the Crawler Pension Fund because it's now the Crawler Pension Fund, isn't it? Kel's gonna need his pension fund, and so is Beefy Smith. So the sharks are circling, there'll be everybody and the dad in the rear roll. So that's look, that looks like it's uh, the way that they're gonna go. Beefy Smith against Kel Brook the Babby. And judging on that last night, I think Liam Smith could start a favourite for that fight. He could start a favourite. Now, that's just my opinion. Uh, let's have a look. The guy that Kel Brook beat. Let's have a look at his record. He's just gone to points with Brandon Brewer and Jimmy Williams and Walter Wright. Now, if you're going to points with them guys, you're not going to get a win against Cal Brook on points, are you? So he needed a knockout. Off Walter Wright even beat him. So, I mean, where, where do they dig these people? Off 61 in world is ranked. Where do they dig these people? Who, oh, he's tough as being in Marines. That do not mean gobbledygooch, does it? That don't mean nothing is tough as being in Marines. So, the whole show as a whole, I give it a five. And that's only because somebody from Doncaster has now got two world title belts on Mantelpiece, which is good, isn't it? So, well done. But what I'm disappointed with from Sky, I'm disappointed that nobody gave Super Ray Doyle a mention. Now, I've always been led to believe that he's the trainer of Terry Harper. And not Andrew Bullcroft or Steffi Bully's alias. So that's what I was led to believe. I, I think somebody from the, that camp needs to come out and say exactly who is the trainer for Terry Harper. And uh, I, I'm sure Super Ray trained Anthony Tomlinson as well, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure now. Is it when the Sky cameras come to town? Does Steffi Bull put his Superman cape on? And go from manager to trainer because I'm not so sure. So it would were disappointing not for, for Ray Dodds not to get a mention. Very disappointing, in my opinion. But it is what it is, isn't it? But other than that, uh, I don't really think there's anything else to cover. To be honest, uh, like I said, the show as a whole was shocking. But if you say anything, like I said. You're classed as a hater. Ah, oh, you're a hater, you're a hater. I mean, look at Anthony Yard last night, right? He's just fought Kovlev and nearly pulled it off late on in fight. He's just fought a guy 
with four wins out of 56 fights a guy who is 36 years of age 36 year old is ranked 537 on box rec 537 on box rec and he's 36 year old and yards dispatched him in round two i mean what were all that about i mean how can they do that it can only mean that Yard's running his contract down to get out, get away from old fish eyes. Or, you need a win before you can go for another WBO world title crack. Which is probably the case. So, but like I said, couldn't they think of some, couldn't they think of somebody else better to get him a win against? Or, to even have a proper fight? And just going and putting, putting a win on, 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 on your record. You know, against a guy ranked 537. And you've just been in with Kovalev. <laughs> Come on. What's all that about? Hey, Kovalev's ranked number two on box rec under Bivil, but he's going in with a guy ranked 537. What is all that about? That stinks as well. See, that's another thing that bothers me as well. Let's get him a win, then we can get back in for a world title. That stinks. Stinks. It's stinky. It's smelly. And it leaves, you know, it's, listen, you know when you get shit on your shoe, what do you do? First thing you do is you wipe it, don't you? You get rid of it, don't you? Because you know shit, it leaves stains. And like I said, there's a lot of shit about, isn't there? And like I said, nobody dare say a word, dare they? Nobody say, dare say a word. Because you're a hater if you do! Well, the yard carry-on stinks. Smelly. And that show last night in Sheffield was smelly, very smelly, but Terry Harper lit the place up because she looks like a nice kid, nice personality, so good luck to her. But the fight stunk. The fight stunk. Uh, the narrative from Matchroom and Sky Sports stunk to high heavens. Anyway, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to my sponsors, you know who you are, Tata. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>